Hi. I'm Captain Cutie, one of Skipper Darrell's YouTube and Facebook virtual shipmates. You may have seen me on one of his many cartoons and memes. He's asked me to lead you through this new video of his. Nobody loves their onboard life more than Skipper Darrell. But even he gets hacked off about some things. After all, he's only human, and we all don't like everything. But in his fabulous indomitable style, he smiles and keeps on going. So, what are these things that makes him hot under his collar? Here they are. Here are Skipper Darrell's top 6 boating pet peeves. Number 6. Dockmaster Distance Dementia, or DDD for short. That's what you usually get when you ask a marina employee how far a distance it is to a grocery store or some other landmark. They tell you that it's only a quarter mile or so, but it turns out to be in the next county. They have no idea. With Google Maps or other tools, it's easy to determine those distances. It would only take them a minute to know for sure, but they just don't want to take the time. Number 5. Dirty showers at marinas. Is there anything more nasty than a shower with ground in dirt on its floor? Yuck. It's gross, and it's a sure sign that they are not cleaned on a regular basis. Not only does it look terrible but it's not hygienic either. That's why Skipper Darrell always wears his flip-flops in marina showers. Number 4. Other boaters that do not have marine VHF radios on board their boats, or at least don't use them, or even turn them on for that matter. Not only is having a radio a good idea to ensure boating safety, in some circumstances it's also required by the Coast Guard. Number 3. Other boaters that don't know the whistle signals. This goes along with number 4. If a boater doesn't have a radio, they should at least know how to signal their intentions using a boat's horn, a whistle, a compressed air horn, or some other sound making device. It's not hard at all. Number 2. Other boaters that have no idea what the rules of the road are. This makes Skipper Darrell, and a lot of other skippers, mad as anything else that happens on the water. It's very dangerous. More and more states require boat operators to take a safe boating course where they can learn the rules. That helps, but there are way too many operators out on the water who, as you can tell from their dangerous and reckless actions, are clueless about them. Worse yet are those boaters who do know the rules, but don't care and ignore them. And number one. Boaters that ignore the hazard their wake creates when they pass or overtake your vessel. And captains of big sport fishers, Skipper Darrell is looking straight at you. Seriously? You can't figure out that the big wakes your boat creates are dangerous? Never mind how thoughtless it is. Skipper Darrell, as well as most captains, have personal experience with the results of these reckless and overtly stupid actions. Get it together, sport fishers. Slow down to idle speed in the presence of other vessels, especially when you are overtaking. Your wake, especially from abaft, is particularly harsh. Well, that's it, Skipper Darrell's top six boating pet peeves. What about you? What are some of your boating pet peeves? Skipper Darrell is, of course, brilliant, but he couldn't think of all of them by himself. Don't forget to like this video, comment and share it with everyone you know. And don't forget to connect with him on Facebook, YouTube, and his Onboard Life blog. And for those of you who want to see more of me, my cartoon memes will start showing up on Daryl's Facebook timeline in a couple of days. Enjoy. Thanks again. Kisses from me, Captain Cutie, and the Onboard Life.